Welcome everyone to the first ever Universal Design for Learning in Higher Education Digital Conference of 2019. I want to take a few moments to show you how to navigate around the website and the program so that you're able to join in all of the sessions that you are able and participate actively in the water coolers and get help if you need it. So let's take a look at how to do this. To begin with, start at the UDL Higher Education Digicon website, which you can access at udl-irn.org backslash udlhe-digicon. On this page, if you scroll down, you'll see two important buttons, one that goes to the participant guide and one for the program schedule. If you have not yet had a chance to look at the participant guide, please do that at your earliest convenience. It includes helpful information, including information about interacting in Zoom, including etiquette and functions, and also information about accessing live transcription, navigating the schedule, accessing water coolers, and getting technical support. The second major button is the program schedule. The program schedule is the main way that we will be interacting and interfacing with the meeting rooms themselves. Note that at the top of this document, there is a shared accessible version, just in case the Google document version is not accessible for you. When you scroll down, you'll see a full listing of all the different sessions that will be happening today. Note that the top line represents the beginning of the time slot underneath it. So for example, practical tips for implementing UDL in the higher education classroom begins at 10 a.m. and ends at 11 a.m. And these are all Eastern time, which is New York City time. To access the specific session, just click on its title and a hyperlink will pop up. When you select that hyperlink, it brings you to the page relevant for that particular session, including information about the presenters like Nico and Hannah, an abstract of that particular presentation and objectives that will help you decide if this is the session you want to join. If the presenters have uploaded resources, those will be available. Each session also has a shared notes document. The shared notes document is intended to be a place where participants of that session can come together and take notes collaboratively if they would like to, and that might provide a rich opportunity for those who were not able to attend that session to look at the notes that others have collected. Furthermore, two important things that will be on every one of those pages will be the Zoom Room link and the link to the live transcript. The Zoom Room link will be available starting 10 minutes before the presentation start time, though we ask participants to wait until five minutes prior to the scheduled start time before joining the Zoom Room. That will give the presenters an opportunity to get set up. The live transcript is provided by our sponsor, Vervet, and this is a great opportunity for you to see in text what's being said in real time. Please note that in the agenda itself, even though we have these organized as concurrent sessions, you should know that these concurrent sessions will not migrate, will not continue from one to the next in the same Zoom meeting room. So for example, if you're attending Nico and Hannah's session from 9.15 to 10 o'clock, you can't stay in that room to move into practical tips for implementation in higher education classroom. You'll need to come back to the schedule click on the name of the next session you want to go to, and then click on that Zoom room to jump into that meeting. Each individual um, session has its own Zoom meeting space. Down below the schedule, you'll also see two water coolers. These are basically spaces that will be open at all times for anybody to jump into at any time. We have two available right now. The social water cooler is used for social networking to meet and greet other people and to get to know some folks who are at this conference, just like you would at an in-person conference. The continuing conversation water cooler is a space for specifically continuing conversation um, that you were having at one of the given sessions that you would like to continue. Of course, you may also open your own Zoom rooms at any time by going to zoom.us creating an account and starting a, um, a session of your own. Then we have the asynchronous sessions that may be viewed at any time. Feel free to jump in and out of those all day or any time before or after the conference. Here's information about how to get technical support 
and other types of help during the event. And finally, we've organized the different sessions in terms of strands if you want to follow a strand. For example, we have a strand on faculty development, a strand on UDL starting out, UDL and online learning, discipline specific, and non-academic applications. We hope that that's helpful in allowing you to make decisions about which session you want to attend live. They'll be encouraged. All of these sessions with few exceptions are being recorded and will be shared after the fact so that you may go back and watch any of the sessions that you were not able to attend live. Welcome again to the UDL Higher Education Digicon of 2019. We're so glad you're here and we're so glad you're pioneering this field with us together. We'll see you more soon.